What? Yeah, I'll take this display. Sensational! Well, hello guys. It has been a long, long time since my last dumpster dive, and there's a couple of reasons for that. Obviously, um, those of you that saw the update video know most of the things that have been going on uh, in 2017, and also, it's really freaking cold outside, and it's not really worth diving in the cold. Um, also, we haven't really had much luck the few times we have gone diving, and there's actually a somewhat good reason for that. Um, but I think Herbie and I are going to save that for a separate video where we talk about uh, why diving's gone a little bit dry. But anyway, uh, I decided to go today just for the hell of it, and I found a few things. Uh, I've got a Legend of Zelda stress ball display here, and one of the stress balls which you may notice something yeah it's missing the red paint but whatever you can still squeeze it so that's the reason you have the thing in the first place right Christmas just ended so they actually threw away some of the little dangly ornament things they had up in the store there was one in here there was also a plastic one but they cut it in half for some reason which just irritated me because that one was kind of cool it was like translucent red and white and they cut it but anyway I got this one so that's something. We've also got a DS and 3DS charger. I haven't tested it yet, but more than likely, I'm, I'm sure it'll work. We have a replacement case for No Man's Sky in the trash where it belongs. We also have a replacement case for Cars 2 for the 360. And we have some replacement artwork. We've got Rabbids Invasion for PS4 as well as the artwork, manual, and inserts for the LEGO Ninjago movie video game. That's a mouthful. And finally, a code for Battlefield 1 Revolution for Xbox One. I have no idea if it's been used, but I have a few friends that have an Xbox One. I'll give them the code and they'll let me know if it works. So yeah, this isn't really a grand return to diving, but there's some pretty decent stuff in here. I can use the charger and... I can squeeze the stress ball. It's better to, to uh, squeeze a blue stress ball than blue balls. Uh, okay, that joke was terrible. All right, guys, it is snowing its ass off right now. And sadly, I had to go out and brave the cold and the snow to go get a few things. But on my way home, I figured, what the hell, may as well swing by the dumpster, see if I can find anything. And I found one bag, and in that bag, were these four games. Now, I'm really wondering why the last three in this stack are in here. Well, I mean, I, I, I get it from, from one perspective, but whatever, we'll get to that. Uh, so you've got Call of Duty Advanced Warfare here. I expect to find Call of Duty games in the dumpster at this point. I mean, they're pretty common um, because, you know, they come out every year, and then by the time the next year comes, last year's Call of Duty, there's an abundance of them. You get them for dirt cheap, and they throw away a bunch of copies. So, whatever, we got Advanced Warfare for PS3. Don't need it. I'll trade it to somebody. But, after this, we've got three Wii U games. Well, Wii and Wii U. Whatever. I mean, this does work on Wii U. We have Wii Sports. Now, from a certain perspective, I can understand why this is in the dumpster. For a long time, you couldn't give these things away. But I've noticed uh, recently that... Wii games are climbing in value. Not not a ton, not all of them, but some of them. And some of these games I've picked up for next to nothing and been able to flip or trade easily. Wii Sports, especially if it's complete, I've sold complete Wii Sports for $10. Hell, I found a factory sealed cardboard Wii Sports. You know, the pack-in in in the little cardboard sleeve still had the sticker on it, and that thing... I sold for $30 on eBay, and it sold within a day. I paid like 4 bucks for it at Goodwill or something. So, I don't know, maybe there's more Wii completionists out there that are looking for these. All I know is the Wii games, some of them, are climbing in price. Or if you can get them for next to nothing, they're worth selling. So you've got Wii Sports here. This was in the dumpster. There doesn't seem to be anything wrong with it. And we've got 
Wii Sports Resort. Which, why? I mean, both of these alone, I, right now, right now, considering there's really nothing wrong with the discs, I could take both of these and put them on eBay for like, I don't know, 10 bucks for the two of them, uh, free shipping or something, you know, maybe 15 bucks, and they would sell. So you got Wii Sports, Wii Sports Resort, and Star Fox Guard. Complete, well, not complete, there's no manual, but... Star Fox Guard. Now, currently, this is like 3 bucks at GameStop, two ninety nine. Yeah, it's not desirable, but... It's still, you know, a Wii U exclusive, it's a Nintendo exclusive, and if history has shown us anything, especially when it comes to Nintendo titles, down the line, give it a couple of years, especially now that the Wii U is done, they're not producing anymore, down the line, this will end up becoming, you know, 10, 15, whatever dollars, it's going to climb, just like every other freaking first party Nintendo title, so for them to throw this out complete, I mean, there's nothing wrong with the artwork, nothing wrong with the case, the disc is in good shape. I don't get it. I don't get it, but whatever. Like always, when it comes to these dumpster dives, their loss is my gain. Hey guys, just wanted to say thank you so much for watching. It's great to be diving again, and hopefully we'll find some better stuff on our next outing. Make sure to check out our playlist for more dumpster finds, and of course, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and especially click that notification bell so you'll be notified when new videos are available. See you guys again soon!